Our book is Dream of Burning by Jennifer Orlando. It's a historical mystery novel. It all starts for Rowan when a skeleton is discovered in her backyard. Rowan is determined on finding the identity of the skeleton with the help of her best friend, an estranged anthropologist. At a job in a medical clinic in a rougher part of town, she also meets Arwen, a kind black homeless man. One day, Rowan is in a car accident, and when the other driver involved in Rowan are exchanging words, Arwen comes to help, but the driver calls Arwen a racial slur and pushes him into traffic, which results in his death. Rowan has to co cope with the loss of Arwen and decides to testify against the driver, oh, no. so Arwen is not another nameless black man without justice, while her and her best friend get closer and closer to the identity of the skeleton. A century before the body is discovered behind Rowan's house, Will gets into a petty fight with a black man and a bar, and the man gets reported to the police. As punishment for the fight at the bar, Will has to work at his father's music, music shop. Will has to deal with the consequences of his action as he later finds out the black man involved in the bar fight was whipped by the police, which led to his death. Even with the racism and segregation at the time, Will's father sets up a payment deal with a young black man named Joseph so he can purchase the Victrola record player. Will befriends Joseph's little sister, Ruby. Then a race riot breaks out in town and Will takes action to help Joseph, Ruby, and other black families. But when Ruby goes missing and his former best friend and a nasty white supremacist man pressure Will to hunt down and kill black people, things get complicated. As the story unfolds, Rowan and Will's story grow closer together as the mystery of the body is revealed. In Dream and Burning, one of the main characters is Will. He starts the novel with racist ideas and is more focused on his relationship with a girl that he likes than the effects of his actions on other people. But as the story grows, so does he. He befriends Ruby, a fiery young black girl who helps him change his backward ideas of race. By the end of the novel, he is able to help save the lives of black families. My question was, who are the sad characters in the novel and why are they important? One of them was Ruby Goodhope. She became very important to Will and really changed his ideas on race. They were very important to each other and really helped each other grow throughout the book and keep each other comfortable. James was the other sad character. James was Rowan's best friend and partner in crime through everything. He was there for her whenever she needed her and helped her research the dead body. An important passage in the book was when Vernon was talking to Will and he talked about killing a young boy with his new gun, Maybell. It really sets up his character so you know how he's going to act in the future and shows how truly evil he really is. So there's a lot of figures of language in the novel. And for example, on page 281, Rowan says, Mom asked if I had my phone, which is like asking if I remembered to bring both kidneys. And I really like that metaphor because I think it shows Rowan's sarcastic personality. And another one's on page 20 when Will says, Finally, the molasses in my brain cleared enough for me to realize Addie was trying to get rid of me. And I think it's short, but it's an important example of figure of language because it's a big event in his life. I think the biggest theme at the heart of the novel is the uh, is family and friendship, like the friendship between James and Rowan, because they're not together that much through the book, but you can still tell how strong of a bond they have. And another one is after Arvin died and how upset Rowan was, even though she hadn't talked to him much, she still felt the need to show up and honor him and celebrate him.